to Musicians on Call Online. At the OE we love playing old instruments and we love finding instruments and today you're going to be treated to a huge array of the instruments of, that we play in the orchestra and we're going to start off with Waffy. Hello my name's Catherine and I play clarinet in the orchestra of the Age of Enlightenment and I'm delighted that today you're in my home and one of the great reasons for you being here is that I can show you all of my instruments. Normally when I come and play a performance for you, I'll have to decide what instruments I'm going to pack into my car, but today I can show them all to you. So if you come over here with me, you'll see where they all live. And as you can see, down this part of my house, I've got lots of treasure chests, lots of trunks. And e each trunk, <laughs> I've got boxes and I've got towels and blankets. And in each blanket, I have a little clarinet baby. They're my babies, I call them my babies. And they're all different and they're all different ages and different sounds of clarinet. Anyway, for today, I've chosen you my favourite ones, or my favourite ones today anyway. So first of all, let me show you a modern clarinet, perhaps an instrument you're more familiar with. It's made out of black wood. It has lots of keys on it, lots of shiny keys, um, and you may well be used to the sound that it makes. But I'm gonna start off by showing you my oldest clarinet. In fact, it's so old, it's not even a clarinet. It's where the clarinet came from. It's called a Chalamet, and it sounds like this. So there you have the Chalamot. Leading on from that is my next oldest clarinet that I have, which is this one here. So this one has got not so many keys on it. It's made out of wood again. And in fact, this instrument was made when Mozart was alive. And I like to imagine sometimes that maybe he even heard this very piece of wood and I like to imagine the clarinet players that played it and touched these keys and blowed down it so I thought it'd be rather nice if I played you a piece of Mozart now so this is a polonaise to show you perhaps the most unusual instrument on this table. This strange creature here, probably difficult to even get it all in the picture. It is it lives in the clarinet family, although it doesn't have clarinet in its name. It's called a basset horn. It's kind of like the uncle of the clarinet. And to play this piece, I need to sit down because I have to put it on my feet to play. That's why I'm wearing these slippers today because it, it's a bit more comfortable to place it on my feet. So if my cameraman could go over there. I'm gonna play you again a piece of Mozart because Mozart loved the basset horn. This is from one of his operas, The Magic Flute.
a rather haunting sound, but a lovely one, I think. And we're going to move on to my last clarinet for you today, the most modern of the old instruments that I've been showing to you. This one here has got more keys on it. It's again made out of the old brown wood. And um, this piece that I'm going to play for you is by Ravel, a French composer, and it's a habanera. And the habanera is a type of rhythm uh, with its origins in Cuba. And it might make you wanna dance. It's, it sounds a little bit like a tango. Um, but I can't really do the rhythm and play the tune for you at the same time. So I'm going to invite my daughter to come and help me. Thank you very much, Ava. Can you show us the habanera rhythm, which she's going to do on this frog, which I think makes a lovely sound. Thank you. And halfway through the piece, she's going to change instruments and she's going to be on the rain stick for a little bit of atmosphere in the middle. And then after the rain stick, she's going to play the shaker with the habanero rhythm again. Okay, so I think we're ready for this performance. Off we go, frog. much Ava and thank you very much for listening see you soon bye thank you to Eva for joining Waffy playing percussion with us today and if you've got any percussion instruments hanging around or that you can lay your hands on do you have them ready because there might be the odd moment when you can join in with us we're now going to go to couples time first of all Chris and Cecilia and then we're going to move on to Katie and Simon where you're going to hear a lovely rendition of green sleeves Hello everyone, Cecilia and Chris here again with another song with the double bass. And today we thought we'd try the Hokey Cokey. Now, we know at this time of social isolation, we can't make a circle with our friends. So we thought we'd do a sitting down version. And you can move as much or as little as you want to. So if you only want to move your finger, that's fine. If you want to move your whole arm, that's also fine. Join in however you want to. We're going to sing three verses, right arm, left arm, Whole self. Here we go. You put your right arm in, your right arm out, in, out, shake it all about. You do the hokey cokey and you turn around. That's what it's all about. Whoa, the hokey cokey. Whoa, the hokey cokey. Whoa, the hokey cokey. Knees bent, arms stretched. Your left arm in, left arm out, in, out, shake is all about. Do the okey cokey and turn around. That's what it's all about. Whoa, the okey cokey. Whoa, the okey cokey. Whoa, the okey cokey. Knees bent, arms stretched, rah, rah, rah. You put your whole self in, your whole self out. 
Thank you for joining us for our song. We'll see you again soon with another one. Hello, my name's Katie and I play the viola in the Orchestra of the Age of Enlightenment. This is my French viola made in 1732. So been in a lot of hands before I got it, which is a nice thought, I think. I love playing a variety of music in the OE. We play from Bach, St Matthew Passion, through Mozart operas at Glyndebourne and prom concerts and concerts all over the country and abroad. Um, one of the really enjoyable things I do with OE is when we get together in small groups and we play in different settings, community centres, schools, all sorts of unusual places, including once on a ferry from Southampton to the Isle of Wight. Now, this was incredibly challenging for me because I do get seasick and I didn't want to let that be known to my friends before we started, but trying to get through Vivaldi's Four Seasons, not looking at the waves, um, was incredibly difficult. I did do it, you'll be happy to hear. Um, I wanted to play you a melody from a long time ago from the time of Henry VIII, very famous melody called Greensleeves. And I thought, since I'm lucky enough to live with a wonderful man called Simon, who happens to be a professional singer and also a very good chef, I thought I'd invite him to join me today because it's much nicer to hear the words than just the viola. So I did a little arrangement of Greensleeves this morning. So Simon, if you'd like to join me, that would be good. <laughs> And it's actually got 11 verses, but don't worry, we're only going to do two. I'll put that there, then I get enough room. Mm -hmm. It's a bit of a fight for space here, but we'll see how we go. Bye. If you'd like to find out more about the musicians of the OE and the instruments that we play, do have a look on our website where there are lots of short videos where you can find out much, much more. And now we're going to go and join Nico and Ellen for some Telemann. Hello everyone, this is Ellen and this is Nico and we are both part of the Orchestra of the Age of Enlightenment and we have been both doing the OE scheme uh, and now we are part of the education team of the orchestra. And today we would love to introduce you to all the instruments we have. Uh, I know you've seen Joe's house, but we have quite a lot of instruments as well. Um, but for some reason, for now, I'm going to start on the recorder and then she's going to play the violin, which you also have met already in the previous episode. And we, are, we have prepared for you a little, um, a little movement from a sonata by Gerard Philipp Telemann. And it's a lovely piece, uh, especially because it's a canon. 
And what is a canon? Basically, we play exactly the same tune, but we start one after the other. One after the other. The other. One after the other. And let's just hear the tune once. And now we're gonna play the piece as it's written. And I'm gonna start first. I hope you have enjoyed this little movement of Georg Philipp Telemann, which is really a composer that we love. And the reason why we do is because his music is really versatile, and the, his music was also very successful at the time uh, that he was alive. And actually, Telemann was way more famous than, your, uh, than uh, Jan Sebastian Bach, for example. And nowadays it's kind of the opposite. And again, the reason is also that this music can be played on any sort of combination of instrument, and it always sounds good. And Talman was really aware of writing music either for amateurs, for professional musicians, but always caring about melody and always caring and do his best in the context that he was given. Also, another thing that Talman really liked it was to incorporate in his own compositions uh, tunes and melodies that maybe he was hearing around and mostly folk tunes or dance tunes and always shaping this music into let's say the classical forms or in this case into a little sonata and that's why we have chosen another little uh, example of Telemann music another movement from one of, of his six canonic sonatas which are um, a set of composition made up all of canons that but also all each canons has a different mood and this one for us the next one we're going to play for you is really a dance tune and i'm going to switch instrument for this one and and introduce you the other instrument that i play which is the barocobo um the barocobo is the barocobo is a double reed instrument so it has this really little funny piece of wood on the top which makes quite a not very nice sound let's see if helen like it but then when you put the, this reed into the main body of, of the instrument, the sound becomes rather more nice. And now we're going to try to dance with another canon, uh, again from uh, another sonata of Gerd Philipp Thelman.
we hope that you have enjoyed this little dance from Telemann and we're gonna leave you trying to imagine how Telemann might have heard this tune on his doorstep. Hello everyone, it's Cecilia and Chris back again. This time I've got my double bass as normal, but Chris, instead of playing the piano, has got lots of percussion to play. So we're going to play a marching song this time, and if you have a drum or a shaker or a scraper or anything that makes a sound, do join in as we sing Oh When the Saints. Oh when the saints go marching in Well, we have fun making that for you. I hope you have fun joining in. See you again another time with another song. I really enjoyed that and I wonder if Chris could have played any more instruments. Thank you so much for joining us today and we look forward to seeing you again next week. I'm going to leave you with another treat from John Henry, this time a tune from Henry Purcell. I wonder if you know it. Well, good afternoon. My name is John Henry and it's great to see you again. In last week's episode on Musicians on Call, you might remember I was playing some music by Vivaldi on the Baroque Spoons. Well, I've put the spoons away for a minute, and this week we're going to feature a different instrument, and we've got not one, but two challenges for you. The first challenge is to guess the mystery instrument, and I'm going to give you three clues for this. Here we go. It's quite small, it's got ten strings, and it comes all the way from South America. Now that was just the bass line and some chords. Let's add some melody and see if that makes it any easier. that made it a bit easier to recognise, let's try again, this time adding something rhythmic.
Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you still didn't recognize it, then don't worry because you'll be hearing more of that tune, which was from Purcell Chacon from the end of his opera, The Fairy Queen. I hope you've had fun with us. The instrument we've been playing today is called the charango. Tune in next week for another mystery instrument or tune challenge. Goodbye. Thank you.